A two-week stretch of violence in one Hampton Roads city, the latest victim just 13 years old. Tonight, a Hampton neighborhood and others in the city are raising crime concerns over the high numbers of shootings lately. Good evening. If you've been watching us over the past few weeks, you probably noticed, just as we did, an apparent uptick in shootings across the area. That's no more evident than in the city of Hampton, where police have been called to seven shooting scenes in less than two weeks. The latest last night, where a 13-year-old was hit by gunfire overnight in a home on Huffman Drive. That young victim is expected to recover, but that's not letting neighbors sleep any easier. Penny, your side's Aaron Kelly has the latest for us tonight. Aaron. I'm standing in front of the home where this all happened. We saw the forensics team out here earlier. They just left a few moments ago. They also had a metal detector going around the side of the house where we did see what appears to be gunshots. The big question tonight, though, who fired the shots and why? Bullet holes on the side of this home on Huffman Drive. It's where neighbors say police investigated an overnight shooting. When they say Huffman Drive, I'm like, oh my God, it's right here. Shauna Patterson slept through the gunshots. I don't know if it was, it's intentional or was it just an accident or something random? I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of shooting going around here anyway. Police say around 2.30, they got a call for gunfire and found a 13-year-old boy. He'd been hit once and went to the hospital, but was expected to recover. According to officers, someone was shooting in the area, and a bullet went into the home, striking the victim. It's scary. You know, I just try to keep my son in the house. You know, when he get off the bus, he might play right here, but that's it. But it could happen any time of the day. You know, just random. He could be just out here playing, and anybody else kids too. So, you know, whoever they is, I hope they get them. Now, police have not released any information so far on suspects. We will be talking to the police chief later this week about the recent crime. Live in Hampton, Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side. Something we will stay on from Hampton. Thank you.